Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Chartreuse Leprechaun. My name is Mark, your host, and it's time for another episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker, where, oh boy, we've got Rhodes offering to prepare us for his position, I think, maybe. We've got Weaver trying to work things out with Rhodes so Rhodes doesn't do something, well, uh, d even more bizarre and stupid than he already has. And we've got Lou worrying about whether to continue struggling against the corporate behemoth that is Lynx Corporation. I have no idea where all this is headed. I mean, it's a showdown of some sort, you know, that's for sure, but I don't know. And by way of blowing up that fuel tank last time, we discovered I have no idea how to use demo charges. There's supposed to be a way to change the size and 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 direction and whatnot of, of the explosions, but I don't know how that works. <laughs> Clearly, we got to figure that out. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, we now have ghost ships to deal with. Now, I don't know what they may have morphed into since full release. I remember them in early, early, early access. They were a real challenge, and as I said last time, they're an AI type thing that just kind of randomly takes over various control panels and functions on a ship. They had a whole new complexity to the game. That I do remember. So I guess we'll find out what's going on with them on the new ship. So uh, yeah, let's get started and see what anyone has to say, what we can upgrade and you know what's uh, what's next. Nobody's talking. Okay, did we get any messages? I don't remember. No, and we have nothing there. Great. Let's find out if we can upgrade anything. We have 63 tokens. We can. Cool. Uh, everything's in pretty good shape. Cool. Okay. Um, ooh, what is that? That is heat capacity. Oh, God, thank you. Uh, power unit, heat capacity goes up. I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to go, but let's see what else we got. Uh, that was range, right? Yeah, uh, range too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's this one? Charge push. Ooh, we can charge push 300 and... Ooh, okay. Durability, all right. I think we're okay on durability as far as that goes. We have... Uh, brakes, we have fuel capacity... Fuel capacity we're doing, still doing okay on. I don't think we need to mess with that. Durability, I don't think that's a problem either. Durability and range, okay. Helmet, more oxygen recharge. What do we got now? We're currently at two per second. That's four. That could be useful. Uh, work suit, all the damages, okay. Demo charges. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to... Disarming mechanism, auto, de auto deploy, interesting. Wasn't there something where we got to? Oh gosh, I can't, I can't think of the phrase I'm wanting to use. Wasn't there one somewhere in here that let us control the direction of the explosion? I thought there was. Yeah, that's just more and more and clean up. Okay. Uh, to, oh, wait, that is it. Tweaks. I didn't read it. Charges self cleanup mechanism produces more reliable control over destructive range. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, gosh. Which one do we do? Um, you know what? We're going to go back and do the laser one, and we'll come back and get that one next time. Heat capacity? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I may regret that one, but that's what we're going to do. All right, let's go get our new ship. And we're done with that one. So what do we get? Ah, yes, interleak systems. That's going to be one of the new ones. Oh, right, we got to look for heat sinks. Okay. Dang it, heat sink. There's one. Heavy cargo industrial. Well, my God, that one's got a lot of stuff. All right, so that one or that one, which is probably going to be a ghost ship. Hazard level eight versus hazard level... Oh, hazard level eight. All right. Um, do we go for the parts or do we go... Huh. You know what? Let's go for this gecko, the stargazer. Let's, uh, let's see where this one goes. about all of you, but ghost ships really creep 
freak me out. Okay. I mean, they're not really ghost ships, Kai. Just a malfunctioning AI. Nothing to be afraid of. Okay. I'm not so sure. They give me a really weird feeling, especially with that high-pitched scream when you cut them. Wait. What scream? Yeah, like, you know, when you cut them. What are you talking about? I... Okay. Well, I I'm really confused right now. You're not hearing this? <laughs> are you messing with me? I swear. Hi. We're not messing with you. You're hearing it too, Cutter, right? It's just a lot of superstition around these things. Like Lou said, just a pile of old AI tech. Nothing more. Uh-huh. Well, maybe, maybe not. But we're here to take a look at this thing. So where's the door? Oh, wait, that's it. Yeah, there we go. Door. All right, let's see what's going on now that we've heard, uh, heard something anyway, right? Airlock depressurizing. Open the door. Come on, there we go. And then, uh, there's no panel. Okay. So... All right, well, then we'll just do this. Oops. There we go. Pressurizing. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh. Uh, not quite what I was... Ooh, data drive, right? Yeah, let's grab that. Cool. Okay. And that looks like a wire bundle. Yeah, okay, we'll take it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're finding all this stuff here. All right, we'll take that too. There's another little something. Okay. What's that? That is a fuse. Okay, we'll take that. What was that? That was a bolt. Okay. What else we got in here floating around? Oh, yeah. Got a circuit. Okay, we'll take circuits. Never turn down a circuit. What is that? That is nothing. Okay. Not seeing anything in here. Well, the good news is we're not using oxygen. <laughs> right? That's a plus. Uh, what was that? That was junk. Okay. Fine. What is that? Hydroponics cabinet, huh? Nice. Wonder what you get for that. Uh... Crew bed, okay. All right, well... What is that? Access panel. Oh, I bet there's a radiation filter on the other side of that. Great. But I haven't seen a way to get into the... the hull. Anybody else seen anything? Did I miss something in here? Well, there's the reactor. Okay. Yeah, there's not a way. Well, that's interesting. Up, oh, found it. I completely missed it before. It was up here in the whole cockpit cabin thing area. The other side of where we were looking. Of course. So there it is. And that doesn't... how oh, it does have a control panel. Okay, so... This is pressurized, huh? So... Huh. All right, well... How do I unpressurize it? What would be this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was a... Yeah! 
that thing right there. Okay. So. Depressurizing. Now, please tell me this didn't. Oh, nuts, it did. Okay. Okay. Do this the hard way, I think. Yep. Whoa. There were cargo thingies out here? What? Huh. All right, well, we're unpressurized now, so we should be able to start cutting this thing apart. I have not seen any ghost thingies. And they tend to play havoc with your HUD display, so it doesn't seem like there are any here. So let's, uh, I guess, get to work. What just depressurized? We're in unpressurized. What just? Oh, the cabin above us, baby? I don't know. I'm not sure what just depressurized, but something did. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. That undid all of that? Really? All right, um, well, okay, let's cut that loose. Nice. That should float that off, baby. No. What is holding? Oh, that's still holding it on, but that depre... I'm confused. I'm like totally confused here. What happened? I don't know. Here comes Weaver's five minute warning. So. Got about five minutes left in this ship, Cutter. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. God, God we'll be lucky to break anything close to even on this shift. Got that one. Ooh, a whopping 16,000 credits. Nice. <laughs> we only need, I don't know, 600,000 more? Something like that? Yay. Okay, we got that one out. That's nice. Now, I'm thinking this goes in here? That gonna go nice and easy? Well, sort of. All right, fine. We'll give you an extra one. Actually, you know what? We'll give you a couple of extra ones. There you go. There you go. That's processor, right? Yeah, that's all processor. Oh, I didn't cut that piece. All right. Well, all right. That's at least something. So... Do I assume that that's... Yeah, that's open. All right, so... I guess we can just cut the... Uh, the rails here? I'm hoping I'm doing this right, because this is what got us... I think that's the one we want to cut. I hope. All right, well, we're about to find out. Let's see if that works. It did! Yay! Cool beans. All right, we'll turn that off. And then 
get the pieces out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barge, you. Yeah. Nice. Is there anything else in there that goes? Barge, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weaver, shut up. Leave me alone. I'm busy. I'm trying to... Ooh. Okay. Making sure we got all the good stuff out of there. Come on out. Send that down there, and then we should be able... I don't know that it's going to get in there before we're out of time, but... Throw ourselves a bunch of tethers on this. Nope, we're not going to make it. Oh, well. We didn't make money this time. Oh my gosh, we did! A million credits! million four! Oh sweet, we made money! Didn't get any tokens, but we made money, so yay! We just spent way too long finding our way to the end of the hull so we could cut it apart. All right! Well, okay then. And nobody has anything to say. We didn't get any messages, and okay, let's just go to work. I was really expecting this ship to be one of those um, ghost ship things, but apparently not. All right, well, let's get uh, this stuff out of here. Oh, we destroyed some glass and a light. Oh my gosh, not a light. No, not a light. <laughs> All right, so let's start hauling stuff out of here, get that to the barge, and then we'll start cutting the fuselage apart some more. Huh? Why is this not coming off? This should be coming off. It's not... Oh, God, I got to burn it from in here, too? Okay... Well, so what the heck is it doing flying over there? Huh. Fine, we'll just do that. Get out of my way. So apparently I cut a whole bunch of stuff off of here that didn't need to get cut off. Well, that's fun. I gotta cut all of this stuff individually because I cut all the other stuff. Oh, fine. Again, another wasted shift because I didn't understand how this stuff comes apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. And now there you go, and then you go. You go. The Yugoslavian. destructible car. They really were that bad, too. Come on. You go... Whoa, wait a minute. What happened? Why is it not pushing that in? I don't know. All right. Well, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. That way. You gonna go? Yes, you are. I think. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. You are now. Very good. Okay, so... We didn't get anywhere near what I wanted to get on that one. Now, why is that not coming off? I cut that off. All right, well, shoot. All right, let's, uh, 
We didn't quite get a salvage goal yet off of all of that stuff. All right. Well. Gunner, there's five minutes remaining in this Yeah, ship. yeah, 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 yeah. Weaver, I know, I know, I know. We got those. And we got those. Nice. We got that. Ah! We got that. Yeah, there we go. Keep working our way backwards. That is... We should be coming up on the... Oh, there's the reactor over there. Okay, so... What all we got? All this stuff is attached to the hull? Seriously? That's a rail for what? That attaches it. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we want to leave that because that's the power. And we're going to need that in the back. So, oh, yeah, the back. Motors. Motors. Actually, wait a minute. Can we get those panels off? Let's go up top and find out. Yes, we can. We can get these panels. Nice. Nice. Your oxygen reserves are low. Of course Most they are. Okay. Let's go get some air. I'll chuck you in there. And we'll chuck you in there. Right? Yeah, there we go. Then we'll chuck you in there. And we'll chuck you in there. Nice. Nice. We may make money on this shift after all. Sweet. Outstanding. So what all we got in here? We got... Hey, there's that salvage goal. Sweet. Sweet deal. All right. Let's see if we can do anything with these motors back here. We should be able to cycle these off. Did it? Yep, there goes the lights. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Time to shift your biscuits. Yeah, right. Uh, we're not going to get a whole lot more done, so I think I'm just going to cut brackets until the timer runs out. Hey, we made money. We made money, and we got a salvage gold for a whopping 13 Lynx tokens. Woohoo! And once again, nobody's talking. We don't have enough tokens to do anything, so let's go to work. Okay, we didn't get very far cutting things open. Can I slice through those? Great cut point grade one. And that goes to the bard, so let's maybe we can. Yeah, apparently we can. Okay, cool. Okay, let's find out what we get for these things. Chuck you down there. And we'll chuck you down there. And we get 260,000 credits. We just broke even on this shift. Wow. Uh, well, let's hurry up and get the rest of these down there then. And then we'll go cut the nozzles off the back of the ship so we can pull the back of it off. Well, by my math, that's eight of these things at 260 grand a piece. That's a million and a half ish. That's pretty cool. So what are these and how do I get them off? That is a communications array that has something I can take off of it. What can I take off of it? I don't know. Oh, hold to extract circuit. Now, we've got a couple of circuits in hand, so we can skip that, but 
can cut it off and chuck it to the barge. Wonder what that's worth. We're about to find out. There it goes. 225, that was worth almost as much as one of the, oh my. All right, oh, an antenna. All right, did I leave an antenna over there? No. Interesting, two and two comma rays thingies, but only one antenna. All right, well, whatever. We'll chuck that down there. We'll get this to the barge, and then we'll get back to what we were going to do in the first place. Salvage hey, salvage goal for that one. Cool. All right, so we're depressurized in there, and there were only two motors, so let's cut these caps off so we can get in there and get the motors out. Got rid of them. Can we pull these motors out the back? Let's find out. Oh my gosh, I think we can. Oh my goodness, yes we can. Cool. Well, let's send you down to the barge. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good money shift. Nice. Oh, 800, oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Come on out. There we go. Chuck you down there. Nice. There we go. Bye bye. And let's go back inside and start cutting stuff apart. Oh, yeah, there's that radiation filter. Sure enough, called it. I knew there was one in there. Oh, now that's a pressurized room. Great. Just great. All right. Um,. All right, well, let's start cutting stuff apart. Because nothing's pressurized back here. So we should be golden as far as that goes. Oh, we got nacelles to cut off? A mount. Oh, those, okay. All right, this is your five minute warning cutter. Five minutes left. Got it. Gotcha, Weaver. I heard you. So, why can I not get back here to this thing? Ha ah, ha 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 ha. Got it. Okay, so. Come on. Out the hole. Come on. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. Chuck that to the barge. There we go. We'll get the one on the other side. So that we can then get the back of this ship off. Get some more serious money. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. We want to get the tanks out of here, too. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how do we want to do this? We've got, oh, we are so close to another salvage goal, too. Of course they are. Dang it. Right. Whatever you say, computer. Let's go get some air. I want to be able, I want to get where we can pull the back of the ship off and get those tanks out. But I'm not sure we're there yet. Because I can't tell for sure where this thing breaks. I'm hoping it's right here. And I'm also hoping this doesn't knock this down. It didn't, good. Because it's still attached. Fantastic, all right. Um, 
No? Really? Okay. Uh, does that mean these will pull off? I hope. Let's find out. No. They're still attached. Crud. Where are they still attached, darn it? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This may be... Oh, I see. I guess maybe this attaches that far up? Really? Really? All right. Well, I guess we're just cutting stuff till the end of the shift then. Okay. Five million. Nice. Nice. Sure would have liked to have gotten that next salvage goal. Well, we got 40 tokens. I guess we'll check and see what we can upgrade when we get inside. And... Nobody's talking to us. No messages, but we got 40 tokens. Let's see if there's anything we can or that we want to upgrade. Not necessarily that we can't. Oh, we got to fix stuff. Yeah, that would help. Range and range. Range. Braking. Fuel. That ah, now we're fine on fuel. All right. So analyzer. No. Helmet. Nope. Nothing there. Suit. We can do better for sound. I think we're going to hang on to our tokens and just go to work. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure we made it through all of the panels. Or all the cut points, anyway. So let's see if we can get this off the back of the ship so we can get those fuel tanks out. No. What? What am I? Oh, no, I only went across the top. I didn't go completely across the bottom, maybe? Yep, there's a cut point. Sure enough. Oh, there's a bunch of cut points. All right, all right. Well, we're almost there. Oh, there it is. It's drifting. It's drifting. I think maybe we did it. Cool beans. Or maybe... Maybe not. What? Wait a minute. Yeah, there it is. It's separated. Cool deal. Cool deal. All right. So, yep, there's a cut point there. Might as well get them all while we're here. And we got a couple on the other side, but we can just start pulling stuff away. That's awesome. That is awesome. Should be another big money shift. Nice. Now, we just got to figure out where everything broke loose. That, what is that? Whatever it is, it goes to the barge. Ah, well, that means it's going to be something we got to cut. Or does it just pull free? It just pulls free. Right? Yep, sure does. There we go. Chuck you down there. There we go. And now start chucking you pieces in there. That would be the ECU in there, so we need to be careful of that. Okay. But that said, we're almost to the reactor. Cool. Actually, we are to the reactor, but you know. Chuck that over there. Yeah. Very nice. Are those free? It is. Cool. Well, we'll just peel everything off. There we go. Nice. Nice. I like it. I like it. We'll chuck you in there. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas here. Get you. And we'll put two on you just because. 
get that out in a hurry. Oh, I love it. And that gets us to the reactor, which is right there. Okay. And that is a pressurized airlock right next to it. That's awesome. Huh. All right, well, let's continue. Chucking stuff in the uh, processor here. Get it out of the way. Hey, salvage gold! Yay! Now, we should definitely have enough now to be able to get the next, uh, the next upgrade, so cool. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Nice. Nice. Look at how much of this thing we've got cleared. That is so awesome. All right, so we'll cut this. Chuck a couple more pieces of the processor and we should be in place. To yank those back sections off. Uh-oh. That's not cut free. Oh, sure enough. There it is. Missed one. What is that? That is a food pack and destined for the furnace. All right, well, I don't care. Let's go ahead and cut that. And we should be, nope, got one more there, okay. Nice. All right, now then. Take a trip up a little bit so we don't beat ourselves in the head with it. And yep, sure enough, there's that one to the processor. There's that one to the processor. Five minutes left, Cutter. Yep, How you use I'm aware. Entirely up to you. Yep, always is. Thanks, Weaver. All right, so now we got these two pieces to chuck in and we're all the way back to the back. Nice. And got that one, cool. Oh, we're gonna hit another salvage goal. Yes, we are. Nice. So this should be free, right? No, what do you mean no? What? What's it still attached to? Oh, dear God, is that... Yep, we got the salvage goal. Sh Are you... No, you're not attached. What? Why does it keep saying it's not... All right, I'm slightly confused. Okay, more than slightly. I'm a lot confused because... Hmm... All right, we'll get this out. Nice, there we go. Chuck that down there. This should pull to the back. This, this should, am I, oh God, oxygen. All right, we'll be back. All right, I'm hoping to get these things off this shift and that'll leave us with just the reactor to, and the generator to deal with. Now, the good news is we left power. <laughs> we left power still installed. So is this going to pull back here or not? Oh, it's not, is it? Oh, well, maybe it is. Wait a minute. Is that moving? Please tell me that's moving. Oh, thank God, that's moving. However so slowly. That is a single piece? How in the world are we supposed to get that to the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, uh, that's a problem. 
Is there something I forgot? Oh, there is. There is. I forgot to cut it right there. All right. All right. All right. Yep. We got 60 ticks till this turkey's done, Cutter. Gobble, gobble. No. Yep, that's it. It had it. Okay. That's what did it. All right. Well, see if we can get a couple of these tanks down there for the end of the shift. Got one. We might get three. Nope. Well, we had another four million dollar shift, so nice. Well, dang it. I was kind of hoping this would be a ghost ship so we could check out some of that stuff, but apparently not. Uh, but we did pretty good, other than that initial confusion of trying to figure out how to get the ship apart. So, yeah, Leprechaun's still engaged. He's still around. He's still working on it. And I guess we found oh, 99 tokens. Very nice. But I think that is going to be enough for today. I want to thank you, as always, for watching. We do appreciate it. The Leprechaun's out there to mess things up. He showed his colors today. Not by much, but he did. So, yeah, just remember... He's out there to mess it up for you, for me, for everyone, even in space. So always, always, always remember that if you see it, and you can't quite explain it, you can be positive the Leprechaun did it. Now you have yourselves a great day, a great week, and we will see you here next time on The Chartreuse Leprechaun. Bye-bye.